Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel and welcome back to my living room. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the week ahead. There is a lot to unpack for this week, but you guys already know that before I dive into the details of this week, I always like to take a few steps back and recount and recalibrate after everything that we've already experienced because last week was a little bit of a doozy. Chances are you've already been feeling it. My predictions have already started to manifest from the weeks before. So let's unpack that first and then we'll dive into what it was that we can expect. Sorry, tongue twister. What is that we can expect for this week? So get cozy, get comfortable, grab a cup of tea, make some coffee, a drink of water, whatever it is that makes you feel real good right now. And let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, hopefully you got your blankets, hopefully you're cozy, and hopefully you're ready to dive right in. I'm not gonna lie to you, the dogs are all around. Nova has a new toy. Look, there she is sharing it <laughs> right now. She's currently tearing it apart. Thank you, Kayla, so much for sending this to Franklin and Nova. They've been loving it so much, so there might be a little bit of puppy ASMR going on behind me. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's go ahead and take some, some steps back before we dive forward. If you see me looking on my right, it's because I have my laptop here with the chart pulled up, and then if you see me looking down I have some notes on some recycled paper it's not cute I promise you but I always like to not print out things because I am really big on working to kind of save the earth as much as I can or re at least reduce my my footprint here on our beautiful planet earth okay so first things first guys let's start off with talking about last week <sighs> okay so with that let's take a huge deep breath um there's a few things that stand out to me as I think about not last week but the week before that with the new moon this happened in the sign of Taurus and this was actually not last week this was the May 19th so this was not last week the week before that towards the very end on Friday this new moon kind of opened the door for things to start to pan out you know what I mean? Full moons have a tendency to throw everything in your face and it's in the moment, fast, high energy, high emotions, everything is surging up to the surface. New moons tend to be a little bit more quiet and they tend to open up a portal for you to manifest what's to come but also begin to see what will inevitably begin to unroll and unravel and it's not so obvious all the time so if you could please go back in your notes of life wherever you keep your notes of life maybe you have a journal or maybe you can go back in text messages for me personally i usually post on my stories where it is that i'm at i don't share the intimate details of my life but the general cliff notes of things like what it is that i'm eating it'll, it'll trigger a memory in my stories and in my instagram stories and i can see oh on this day this is what i was doing i was at the gym i was working out this is what we ate it will bring me back to that space and then we'll trigger memories of what was happening around that time that and then also I keep a journal so go back to the time the days following the 19th what type of conversations did you start to have what type of energy started to reveal itself what type of information started to present itself and watch how it started to build up into something that could have been or will be an inevitable kind of explosive to some extent. On the 19th, you guys, and I know for some of you guys, you're like, Jess, it's the 29th. Why are we going back? Because one thing about me is that I'm very thorough. We all know that. A little too thorough sometimes. I don't miss a beat. Um, but I look at the entirety of the chart, not just these individual transits. The entire chart is a whole relationship, and that relationship is an energy that impacts us here on Earth. And we see that play out in every single aspect of our lives. No stone is left unturned, right? So as I'm looking at the past energies, it's going to help you to understand why we're here today, like why things are looking the way that they are. So on the 19th, that's when we had the new, the new moon and the sign of Taurus. And also 
um, Taurus energy lately has been getting sledgehammered by the energy of Uranus and also Mercury transiting through the sign of, of Taurus, the North Node transiting through the sign of Taurus. There's been a lot of energy here that is bringing our our fate, our attention, and massive change, radical change into the elements, the energies that Taurus rules. Now, traditionally, Taurus rules our values, our institutions, what we spend our money on, what is important for us to spend our spend our money, and what we are initially attracted to invest our money into. Traditionally, sorry, the traditionally Taurus rules our values, where we put our money, where we feel like we want to invest our money, our resources, and also institutions. And those situations are changing grand scheme i'm also curious to know you want to see what house taurus rules and that's where you're going to see the most eruptions happening and values changing a lot of shifts happening within that taurus energy for me personally taurus rules my 11th house of friendships and hopes and dreams um social media and like networking even though it's kind of connected to the third house too but i've always looked at the 11th house as um, connection to communities and, and like-minded souls and spirits that we put ourselves in, in alignment with. So there have been some real interesting revelations when it comes to friendships in my own life and things that it is that I'm hoping to manifest, that I'm hoping to materialize or I'm pivoting in what is valuable for me to manifest or to hope for or to wish for. It's starting to become more realistic and practical and it's it's almost happening faster than it is than I thought that it would take like longer to manifest. That's just how this has been working out for me. Also, my relation to how I show up to the internet and my priorities there is starting to shift and change greatly. And I'm going to keep it sur surface level because this could open up into a whole story time. But for the most part, it's all of those areas woven in. And that's because, again, Taurus rules the 11th house within my chart. So what does Taurus rule within your chart? I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. It's just because I'm being, again, too thorough. So let me just kind of tighten it up real quick and get professional again. So there have been a lot of changes brought on by the Taurus new moon and the fact that Uranus is transiting through the same energy that, the, that this new new moon was um, happening in, that it was occurring in. In conjunction with that, the sun entered into the sign of Gemini and there was a need to create extra space and extra separation for you to begin to see things from a different perspective, from a different viewpoint that is going to help you and set you up for an advantage. Sometimes when we get so caught in our ways or the way that things have been and things are changing, we can get paralyzed in fear or be feel threatened by this change. When the sun transiting through the sign of Gemini really helps us to shift our perspective and shift our vision so we can see things from a different point of view, which is going to be good for us. The other thing that this was really helping was as we are going through these major changes, we were I was also encouraging you guys to get out, to explore your neighborhoods, to connect with your siblings, to connect with hopefully making new friendships and new connections that would not just pay off, but bring more joy and, and beauty and blessings and vitality into your life because the universe does actually want you to have fun throughout this entire experience. It shouldn't be just so heavy all the time. So there was also, for some of you guys, you were going, starting school, pursuing new areas of study, maybe even traveling, going on uh, short-term trips, maybe signing up for classes, things that you could venture out of your normal comfort zone in conjunction with these major changes that were happening as a result of this new moon. So I'm wondering how those, how this energy already started showing up for you so far. Quick Nova hug break. Thank you so much for your huggy speech. Just before the start of this week on the 28th, what is concerning is the fact that the sun started squaring off with Saturn. The sun represents our ego, our identity, where our energy is being hyper-focused and Saturn sitting in the sign of Pisces really starts to challenge like this tug of war that I'm doing with Nova right now. Our ego, it starts to ch challenge our ambition. There starts to be a headbutting between the powers that be, the people around you. It could be really like we're not seeing eye to eye. This could open up the door for disappointment, frustration, irritation. It brings up a lot of that because you feel like 
someone is either a dropping the ball b hitting you with the, hitting you with their toy as you're trying to talk about astrology transits not fulfilling their promises there's an inability to be to mature or you feel restricted and confined in some way because this energy can show up in two different ways number one you feel like okay you made a promise and you're not completing that promise i can't count on you or you can't count on yourself and then the other thing is okay you you're you're restricting me you're you're taking the the joy out of my life you're taking the life out of my lungs you know like the breath out of my lungs those type of energies where you're just like who i am as a person feels with my back against the wall in the situation or this forces you to look out for yourself let's say you're expecting help support in some way especially as the sun is transiting through the sign of gemini you're expecting there to be some type of information or support or some type of, I don't want to say, I almost said like, like a congratulations or something, but that's not, that's not the right word. But maybe one of you guys are looking for affirmations or confirmation that you're doing the right thing. It just feels like that's not coming through. So now you have to buckle up, put, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and take care of it. Like go out into the muck and do it yourself. And that can be really challenging. You know, it can be really triggering as well. So that's what energy we're starting off walking into. And that is already a lot. I mean, it's what, 13 minutes so far or 14 minutes if technically for you guys that it is that I'm talking about this. That's a lot that we just unpacked. Now for this week, things tend to actually look a little bit better. Thank you. God. The first thing that's really standing out to me is the fact that we have the full moon through the sign of Sagittarius. And this will 1000% open up a huge fresh perspective. Sagittarius energy is naturally ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is a planet that rules abundance. Jupiter is also now currently transiting through the sign of Taurus, directly conjunct the North Node. So there is a lot of wealth that can come from this from this full moon. There is a lot of expansion and exposure, like good exposure that can happen, joy, wisdom that can be brought from this uh, full moon. It feels very jovial, it feels very supportive, and even and the full moon itself is actually most directly conjunct the part of fortune. The part of fortune brings us huge luck, huge wealth, huge abundance. Where is this going to come from? It's going to come from your perspective to, or your ability to be courageous, to be explorative, to be adventurous, to expand beyond your current horizons in all areas of your life, but specifically when it comes to travel and business and knowledge and spiritual studies and tapping into your own internal sense of wisdom you know that internal wise guru within you also try to use this time to do something fun I know it can be really tough when we're talking about such massive changes but even more ex even more of an excuse for you to go out and have fun book that trip go on an adventure try something totally different than your normal comfort zone if someone looks different than you or a different culture or something like that, explore it, keep an open mind. You'd be surprised who you'd be able to connect with and how that connection will expand your perspective. That's where true wealth actually comes from. The other trans that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be directly conjunct Uranus. This is going to bring in really interesting bits of communication. It's going to come out of left field. It's going to surprise you. Put a pin in that. I would not be surprised if this is someone from the past or an opportunity showing up like, hey, I'm a little late to reach out to you, but I still want to give you this offer. Or is this thing still on the table? Or you might be um, feeling called to bring that. There might be some type of announcement that you feel really called to share or some type of something that you want to jump on. You feel it's like something that is undeniable to you and do with this information what you will. I do want to say that as Venus is entering in the sign of Leo, this is going to be June 5th. Oh, Mercury conjunct Uranus is going to be on the 4th and then Venus entering into the sign of Leo is going to be on the 5th. Follow your heart with this, you guys. Leo loves pleasure, loves joy, loves to have fun. And as this transit is and as the Venus transit is entering into the sign of Leo, it's even more emphasizing the need to let your hair down, to have a good time, to prioritize joy and happiness because you'd be surprised how much wisdom and gifts will come to you, how much blessing will come to you, and how much, how much better life will feel. If you're really big on manifestation, like I am and Nova is, I would set intentions around having a good time, doing things you love for the sake of the pleasure, for the sake of the joy of it, okay? Because it will literally bless you in so many different areas of your life. Nova knows all about that.
she says hi. So guys, we have a full week. I know that's a lot. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions about this transit or transits, let me know down in the comments below. I also have Bahati Love Notes going now currently. It does look to be like a positive week for the most part. As long as you guys are trying to have fun, that's so important. But if you need additional support, Bahati Love Notes does exist. And basically what that is, is a hug from the, the universe from your angels and your guides as we shuffle the tarot and we pull information for what is that you need to hear every single day pretty much every single day of the week and it's fifteen dollars a month which can't beat that with a stick all right my loves thank you guys so much for hanging out with me thank you so much for hanging out with us thank you kayla for sending us this toy it's literally destroyed by the 20 minutes that i gave it to her but we knew that was going to happen <laughs> And um, if you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please do that uh, because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Ugh. Come on, no. Gross.